what oh. I'm looking for. <laughs> Penny, I'm all about detail. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. It's okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Joseph Serna. I am a teacher here at New Songs. I teach voice, I teach piano, and that's it. That's all I teach. <laughs> so, um, I was probably about like eight years old, eight or nine. I'm not really sure what age I was. That's when I found like my love for music. I wouldn't say that there's a specific person that kind of brought that out into me. I think it was more so like my entire family and my entire family situation. Uh, when I was younger, we were going through a bunch of stuff and uh, my parents, you know, eventually went through a divorce and all that stuff. So I think music was a really big factor in my development as a person and um, really helped me stay emotionally stable. And it helped me um, just kind of be okay and happy. Uh, a make or break moment that I did have was when I was in college. So when I first arrived, I was so confident in myself and I wanted to be a music major. I wanted to sing, I wanted to do all those other things. And that's also the time when um, Pitch Perfect came out. And I was like, I'm gonna be part of an acapella group on campus, I'm gonna be part of the choir, I'm gonna be singing, I'm gonna be doing all these different things. And um, I had just enrolled as a music major. Um, and, and so I got into the university choir. That was fun, that was great. But I really wanted to get into an acapella group because I thought that was gonna be the most fun for me. Um, but during my auditions, I had those moments. I had a moment where I completely forgot the words and my voice just whoosh, And that was, one, that was a moment where I was very, very, very low in my um, pursuit of music. I was like, do I even want to do this anymore? Should I even pursue it? Am I even good enough? I mean, I clearly did because I'm still here. I'm teaching music, um, but it definitely uh, did put a damper on things at first. Um, but I don't think I'm going through that anymore. I think I have blossomed from that experience and really um, came into my own and found my voice and yeah. I think one thing I learned from teaching music is that I am capable of so much more things than I previously thought. I thought it was going to be um, very challenging for me to sing in front of people, specifically my children that I teach, <laughs> uh, even to just play an instrument in front of them. I think that was something that I thought was going to be kind of hard for me, but the more I did it, the more, uh, the first time, the first day I did it, <laughs> bit of a train wreck. but. Um, as I did it a lot more, as I continued teaching, as I got more students, as I um, continued through this progress of being in new songs, I have really learned how to how to just let go and just be myself and show and then and help my students to also grow in their musical experience and really get out there and not feel afraid of being extra or being out there or letting their talents roam free. Uh, so I feel like I work best with students who uh, want to just have fun with music because uh, for me it was very much like a I need to be so good at it that no one makes fun of me ever again. <laughs> and I want to kind of put it on to my kids like no don't be like that don't be like me be uh, be yourself, have fun with it, enjoy it. Really take into account that uh, you have your own talents and that not everything that you play or sing or do has to be the exact same way that it was written, in my opinion. Um, I mean, yes, be follow, follow the, the sheet music the way it is, but also explore the bounds of music and the, the differences of uh, going outside of those uh, boxes that we put ourselves into, or the music puts us into, I guess. Um, I like students who are willing and wanting to change up something that they've already played and, and kind of improvise and go a different route. Find their own, beat their own path, rather. My favorite things about teaching is when a student has that aha moment and you can see that in their face. They're first super frustrated and they're like, I don't get it. And then suddenly it clicks. And I love seeing that moment where it just clicks because 
I've had those moments. And they feel great. <laughs> and it's, it's always nice to help a student get to that point. I also just really like how the communication that I have with my students and how, um, how they become kind of like, you know, they, they feel like family to me at this point. So outside the school, I don't really do a whole lot. <laughs> um, I do want to do more things, but they have not presented themselves yet. So for now, you can find me here at New Songs, mostly at Grand Line and at the Madison location. Uh, but look forward to seeing me at staff recitals in the near future.